Hello everybody, welcome and welcome back to my YouTube creative studio. Today I would like to say hello from my very favorite local shop, Volnica in Prague. And today I'm here to see and find uh, what is the new in the shop and what yarns I would like to buy for my next project. At the beginning I would like to buy a ball, a orange ball from Alize uh, Baby Best. Why I need uh, the orange ball I will tell you at the end of this uh, video. And there are so so many colors. They are uh, really bright, uh, nice colors. This uh, yarn is perfect for uh, crocheting for kids and babies. In one ball, 100 uh, grams ball, there are 240 meters and uh, the um, yarn has 90% acrylic and 10% bamboo and it has anti-peeling uh, uh, treatment so it's uh, perfect to uh, work with it and to, to wear it. So this is it. Now I move a bit uh, in the left corner and there are news and you see uh, this is the yarn I'm so excited with. It's a uh, ice yarns uh, cotton royal lollipop and one ball 100 grams ball there are 210 meters and it's 100 percent cotton it's a very very fine soft yarn i think this would be perfect for spring and summer project and each model each project will be absolutely unique you see there are about 10 versions available it won't be easy <laughs> to decide which one to choose this uh, yarn um, it's a perfect for touch and as you can see the basic color is always light white, light cream, light green, light blue and then there are you know, the little pieces of different color yarns to add it uh, to this uh, basic uh, color and I absolutely fell in love with this uh, yarn and I will definitely use it in my next projects and let's look at these uh, loops yarn and this is the main topic uh, of um, this uh, video. I would like to speak more about uh, yarn uh, with loops. I think this yarn is absolutely perfect for very very beginners. So if you haven't have any experience with uh, crocheting or knitting you can try this chenille so soft yarn it's super easy to work with it you don't need uh, uh, needles you don't need hooks you will use only your hand and you can create everything what you like there are so so many colors about i don't know 50 uh, one colored yarn and also the, the colored uh, like a rainbow yarns about I don't know 20 30 uh, versions which you can choose look at it and uh, there are three um, let's say three versions there is Alize Puffy Alize Puffy fine and this is my favorite one it's Alize puffy more and it's very soft and it's perfect to create mosaic or pixel uh, project with it because there are always two colors on the position of one loop so let's look at these beautiful colors and yarns see there are um, smaller or bigger loops depends uh, on the type of the yarn and this is Alize 
poofy more you see there are always two colors together okay so i will show you the ball uh, it's a chenille yarn and in one ball there are 100 grams and uh, there are 11.5 meters i will give you uh, the link uh, to the alize uh, app which uh, you can use to create your own mosaic pattern or you can choose already prepared patterns and uh, just for your inspiration and this is alize puffy fine you see the loops has the same size as Alize Puffy more they are uh, smaller than Alize Puffy so it's Alize Puffy fine again there are two options one color or this uh, more colors in one ball you see the loops are a bit smaller in one ball there are 11 meters and if you compare the loops with Alize Puffy, this is it. These loops are a bit uh, wider, a bit longer. So uh, again, there is a version with in color and uh, Alize with uh, one uh, one color. And there are only uh, nine meters in one ball. And you see, <laughs> this yarn is so so soft. Uh, I think again, it would be absolutely perfect. If you would like to create uh, some project for children or kids, you can um, make uh, variables, you can make sweaters, uh, vest, uh, of course the hats uh, and barrettes, and of course you can make, make also the, the toys. So not only project made uh, with uh, rectangles or with squares you can make any shape and uh, make uh, any colors combination and of course you can create very interesting patterns so these were yarns from alize and now let's look at the top of this shelf there are really big loops yarns these uh, yarns are from Vilnica. The name is Elsa, and it's really, let's say, heavy, <laughs> chunky yarn. In one ball, there are 350 grams and 12 meters. Uh, from one ball, you can create a very soft and very warm scarf or shawl, and with the two balls you can create a blanket uh, for the baby let's again look at the colors so this is it my crochet friends this is what i found uh, in my favorite local shop and then i will move into my workroom and i will show you how to work with loops yarn so thank you very much for watching and see you soon <laughs> bye bye so here I am, I'm in my workroom and I uh, bought uh, these yarns, Alize Puffy with uh, the bigger loops, Alize Puffy Fine with smaller loops and also Alize Puffy More, you see, and there are two loops yarn this is two loops yarn and i already used this yarn i don't know two years ago and i create a cute and so soft uh, cover for pillow and i will give you the link uh, in the box below this video and you see there are always two colors there are two loops at the position for one loops and this is absolutely perfect if you want to create some mosaic okay so one side will be uh, with the light color and uh, the second side with the uh, dark color so you see i create the heart 
dark and on the opposite side there is a light color heart and this is the cat on one side and the negative cat on the opposite side so this is the cover for the pillow and my kids uh, absolutely love this uh, this this soft yarn and this is the last uh, yarn I bought it's uh, Elsa this is a uh, very very big yarn uh, 350 grams and it has only 10 meters uh, in uh, one ball and you can create really soft and warm scarf or, or blankets uh, so I will definitely prepare the video tutorial for this yarn as well and now let me show you how to work with uh, Alize Puffy. This yarn is perfect to start with so if you have no experience with uh, loops yarns you can use this one at first. Uh, I always uh, cut the first loop to make a longer tail for sewing uh, the beginning and also the end of my project. So you can do it or not. Then you can count the number of stitches you will need for your project. And this is the first option how you can start. We will work in rows, always the right side facing you. And grab the loop and pull it through the next loop from the outside to inside or from the back to from. Then next loop on the working yarn and next loop on the row. And again pull the loop from back to front, from uh, inside to outside. And you can continue till you reach the end of row. You should have the same number of loops as you have in the first row. Okay, make sure the loops are not twisted and also the loops um, on the working yarn are not twisted and always pull the loops from the back to front like this. Okay, and uh, the last loop in the first loop. So these are very basic steps how to make an easy and quick uh, scarf for example just make sure you have the same number of stitches i have 10 i would recommend you to count the number of stitches and always have the right side facing you and you will work in rows back and forth till you are satisfied with the length of your project always uh, start uh, the to pull the next loop through the last loop like this and you can also this is the basic pattern you can also make a very very nice uh, pattern with cross you can make uh, these uh, cross stitches so uh, use the next yarn and skip one uh, loop on the row and then cross it you can cross it over or under it's up to you so it depends uh, uh, which loop you want to have on front and which one on the back so if you want to have it uh, from the left side to the right side pull the skip loop under the uh, already used loop okay like this and you can cross the loops like this and to create a very nice uh, pattern. You can make uh, the diamonds pattern or the uh, braided pattern. So it's uh, absolutely up to you. If you are more experienced beginner or advanced beginner, you can make your own uh, pattern. Um, just make sure you have uh, the same number of stitches make sure you uh, um, haven't skipped any yarn so when you cross the yarn you have to also use the loop okay this is the skipped looped and i have to also pull the next loop through it and again 
from the back to front see my uh, loops are going from left to front but of course you can uh, pull them to the opposite way I will show you how to do it okay so now let's go from the right to left okay so skip one pull the working loop with the next one and then the skipped one will go uh, not under but over the uh, loop you just finished okay like this and I would recommend you uh, to uh, don't cross uh, loops at the beginning and at the end just to have the straight uh, ends okay so look at my work <laughs> so these are crossed going from uh, right to left these are straight these are going to right straight going to right and straight so this is it my crochet friends it's super easy to make uh, the basic pattern or the pattern with the uh, cross again uh, start of us uh, to pull the next yarn through the last loop please don't skip this step it's uh, really important <laughs> to have the same uh, length on the side okay so this is it and you can continue just uh, uh, decide which way uh, your loops will go to right or to left and then pull them under or over like this and uh, I would also recommend you when you finish the row to look on the opposite side uh, just to check if uh, uh, there are no skipped uh, loops okay so just uh, uh, one recommendation for the, the beginners and um, this yarn is uh, super perfect uh, for beginners as uh, you, you don't need to check the tension you know sometimes uh, the beginners work very tight okay so um, if you are um, working with uh, this chanel yarn you have to make your projects uh, really soft so uh, working with the uh, loops yarn it's perfect because the tension is uh, absolutely the same in uh, each uh, row <laughs> so yeah this is it so look at my work you can continue work uh, row by row uh, loop by loop Okay, just to decide if you want to create like a, a diamond a diamond pattern or the braided pattern um, I also love to create uh, the, the herringbone pattern I think yeah I will prepare the video tutorial step by step how to um, make a herringbone blanket I think it will be uh, very very nice so yeah just uh, if you want to train and uh, practice uh, working with uh, loops i would recommend you this alize puffy it has uh, bigger loops and it's uh, perfect to work with them just uh, with your hands super super easy and you can go one row to the uh, right and the next row to the left and make the the braid okay like this you can really play with the pattern and once you are satisfied with the length of your project you can very easily uh, put the, the uh, last row the loops together to finish your project okay I will also show you and you can very easily count how uh, many balls you need uh, because uh, again 
the the length of the loops is um, the same so you can wow i i love this pattern isn't it uh, cute <laughs> perfect so yeah uh, let me measure the size 10 loops in one row the length is 17 centimeters 7 inches okay and if i will measure 10 10 uh, rows ten, uh, no sorry five five rows it's 10 centimeters four inches okay so one two three four five rows measures 10 inches uh, 10 centimeters four inches so it's easy to count if you would like to make a scarf for example and now let me show you how to work with puffy fine aliza puffy fine uh, as i told you this yarn has a bit uh, shorter um, smaller loops this is the version with three colors the lengths uh, of the part with white and brown uh, is the same as the the uh, part with the dark red color and i will show you the second option how you can start to um, your project we can at the beginning make a chain at first i will again cut the first loop and you can make a knot at the beginning and then um, hide the end into your project okay so i will sew this end uh, later on then uh, you can prepare the length for your project okay so you can count or measure the loops and uh, you know uh, at the first um, option how to start we skip the 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 chain at the beginning we started the first row and then second row uh, and continue with uh, row by row now i will prepare the foundation chain or the basic chain at the beginning at first just to have a nice um, um nice border at the the beginning or at the bottom of my project so i will very easily pull the next uh, loop through the previous loop and again from the back to front and make sure the loops are not twisted also the chain is not twisted and always pull the yarn from the back to front okay like this and then i will prepare the first row i will pull the next loop through the next chain and make sure you don't skip any chain and any loop maybe it will be a bit difficult because you will pull the loop through the uh, the chain and there are always you know two um, chains together two loops together so if uh, you will find it difficult uh, you can use the crochet hook to pull the loop through the chain okay and again make sure you pull the loop from the back to front and from the let's say outside to inside into the chain and pull uh, every chain and through the every every um, every loop through every chain so don't skip any if you have the nice uh, beginning at the and the bottom of your project or could be top of course and just make sure the chain is not twisted okay and then you will have the absolutely perfect beginning okay so this is also the option how you can start working with uh, the loops yarns 
Okay, I'm at the end, so this is the last loop through the, the first chain at the beginning, the first loop where I started. And again, I will work in rows back and forth and I will show you how you can very easily uh, do increase and decrease, okay? Because uh, of course you can make a square or rectangular project, but you can also create sweaters or vest and you will need to increase or decrease. So very easily you can just uh, pull the, the working yarn through the uh, two loops in the row. So uh, pull the working loops through the first loop like this and then again through the second loop and you easily create decrease at the beginning of a row you see absolutely easy so if you have no experience how to make decrease or increase this is super perfect and you can do decrease or increase uh, in the row as well so Evenly you can make uh, increase or decrease. So when you are working on hats or barrettes, for example, uh, you can repeat uh, these instructions. So pull the yarn through the next loop and the same working uh, loop uh, through the next loop as well. And uh, at the end of this row, I will show you how to make increase. It's uh, again, it's uh, super easy. So uh, I have now the uh, last loop in the row and I will pull the next loop from my walking yarn and also the next loop through the same last loop at the end of the row. So you see we easily created the increase at the end of the row and you can repeat it uh, through the first loop pull two loops from the walking yarn. So I have two loops at the beginning, now in one loop, I might increase and then you can continue till end of row and uh, you can make decrease again easily, just pull uh, the loop through two loops on the row. So this is it my crochet friends. So. This is how you can make increase and decrease. Super easy, isn't it? I told you that the working with loops yarn, it's uh, for the beginners. And also if uh, you want to have uh, some interesting activity for your kids, you can teach them how to work with working yarns. So increase, decrease. This is it. And uh, if you are satisfied with the length of your project, I will show you how to finish it. Start on the opposite uh, side, where is your walking yarn, okay? So I'm working from the right to left now. And uh, grab the next loop and pull it through the previous loop, okay? So the second through the first, the third through the second, and so on and so on and you will make a really nice chain on the top of your project. Again, you will really nicely finish your project like this until you reach the, the working yarn. You can cut the working yarn and pull the end through the last loop and hide the end. So the, the end. So you really uh, nicely finish your project and there is uh, just a little sewing. <laughs> and you know what is uh, perfect about the loops yarn, uh, my crochet friends, then there is um, no sewing. If uh, you would like to continue to add the, the another part, for example, to add the sleeves to the sweater, to the body sweater, you just finish, you can very very easily continue along the side and uh, you see this is the, the beginning and the end of my project. So I will show you how you can continue if you add uh, the 
uh, another part to your project, you can very easily prepare the row with uh, loops on the side, for example. So I will continue and pull the loops through the loops on the side and I will prepare the, the first row. It's, uh, you know, the same principle as I used at the beginning when I pull the loops through the basic or foundation chain. And then when you reach uh, the end of the side, you can continue working in rows uh, to the right and back to the left and uh, uh, you can prolong uh, your project um, and uh, it's uh, easy to add uh, the another part uh, on the bottom, on the side and so on and so on. So it's absolutely perfect and you can also uh, finish the row with the same way um, uh, as I already showed you. So I will uh, pull the loops from the opposite side where is the working yarn and uh, pull the second loop through the first loop, um, the third loop through the second loop and so on and so on till you are at the end of the side and you can cut the yarn and uh, fasten off. Uh, and this is it my crochet friends, you already know how to start your project, how to finish it, how to add uh, some other parts and how to make increase and decrease. And now I have a surprise for you. <laughs> yeah, this is uh, my little bunny. Uh, you already know this video tutorial, how to make this uh, mini bunny. And uh, my son asked me to make a carrot wrap uh, for uh, his uh, bunny so that's why I needed to buy the uh, orange yarn Alice and Baby Bess and uh, I crocheted the carrot wrap so now he can hide play hide and seek uh, with the, the carrot isn't it cute I love it so the pattern will be available very very soon and the last project I would like to show you is my spring coat. I used this uh, chunky yarn Papatia Easy Knit. I spoke uh, more about this yarn in my March uh, review. So now I finally uh, finished the coat and it's super super easy. It's uh, perfect for beginners. I used only double crochet stitches and front post double crochet stitches. There are three or four parts, uh, two uh, front panels, one back panel working uh, uh, in rows uh, up and down and uh, there are sleeves I, uh, I used the same pattern and this is the surprise uh, what I would like to show you the pockets uh, they are hidden pockets on side and uh, they perfectly correspond uh, with the pattern so this is it my crochet friend this video tutorial will be available very very soon as well thank you very much for watching if you like this video tutorial please give me your thumb up and don't hesitate to subscribe to my channel i will give you all my uh, contacts in the links below this video and i will also give you the links uh, uh, where you can buy the uh, yarns and uh, please let me remind you that comment my video and uh, comment the yarns and you can win uh, one ball of the presented yarn as a gift you can try the yarn and uh, share the feedback with us uh, how was the working with it so the yarn is for free and also the shipping all around Europe is for free. So I'm looking forward for your comments. Thank you very much for watching my crochet friends and wish you happy crocheting meantime and next uh, time I will uh, speak more about the yarns for the summer projects. So take care and bye for now. Bye bye.